So here's what pressure testing is. There's multiple levels. So there's pressure testing even in the drill phase, okay? I have to have a good part. Now, we can add pressure testing to the next level where we put MMA gloves on, mouth guards on, gun belts, blue gun or sir gun. Sir guns are good because you can actually get trigger presses and you can see if I'm actually hitting you or not. Then we kind of do what we talk about is the highest form of training pressure testing. We go out in the grass, out in the dirt, we get the Red Bear Combative helmets on with the hoods so they cover like down to our chest so we have no standoff zone with those, with those UTMs. The highest level of pressure testing is when you yourself, your people that you're around, that you work with do it, or people that you've trained go out and they hit this stuff repetitively in the street and they give you the feedback and they send you the body cams. If they can't send you the body cams, they give you a written uh, paragraph of how it happened and what tactics they used. Okay? That is the highest form of pressure testing, is when it's done in the street, live in the street. Okay, so again, we can talk about pressure testing, and we should pressure test in the mat room. We should up that levels of pressure testing with different levels of blue guns, cert guns, up to UTM, the red equipment. But the end all be all, guys, is the pressure testing that is gonna come from the feedback in the streets. The people you teach, the people that your teammates with, that's the data you want.